I'm Aaron Rutten, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to sketch a face for use in a portrait painting. That's coming up next. I'll start by creating a sketch on a new layer. I'm just using a sketching pencil here with a dark gray color. I'm going to draw a circle here, and I'll divide it vertically and horizontally. I'm drawing using the Loomis method. You can look that up if you want to learn more about it. But basically, these guides are going to make sure that my head is mostly in proportion and it helps you lay out all the different pieces of the head. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch in the sides of my head and my jawline. I'll sketch in the bottom of my nose on the nose line and my eyebrows on the brow line. At this point, I'm not aiming for perfection because I know I'll be able to refine this painting later on in the process. So if I need to adjust an eye to make it bigger or smaller or change the angle of it, I can do that quite easily. All I really want here is just kind of a rough sketch that's somewhat accurate. So you may want to take pieces of your layer and cut them out and move them around, transform them, make them bigger or smaller, and so on. You want to try to get this mostly accurate, so try to do a pretty good job with your sketch here, but you will be able to refine the paint later once you lay it down. Now, as you may have noticed, I'm drawing from a reference photo that's up in the top right. Now, I'm not going to make the drawing exactly like the photo because the lighting in the photo isn't the lighting that I'm going to want in the piece. So really all I'm using the reference photo for is just to get an idea of the facial expression, and that's about it. So what I'm doing is I'm looking back and forth between my reference photo and my drawing, and just looking at very small areas, such as the eyebrows, or maybe part of the eyebrow, and trying to look at how each individual part of the face lines up with the other parts of the face. This is something that's going to take a lot of practice, and you should expect that a lot of your first drawings of faces aren't going to look very good, that's okay, just keep drawing and eventually you'll get the hang of it. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch in my hair here. I'm not gonna make it exactly like my reference photo. I want it to be a bit more stylized. I'll put in a few more details around the mouth here. I think that's looking pretty good so far. I think that I want to adjust the face to head ratio, so I'm just gonna widen the head a little bit, maybe just kinda of smash it down. That helps balance out the piece. This is why I have my sketch on a separate layer so that I can just adjust my sketch freely and I'm not going to affect the paper underneath. Now because this is a sketch, I don't need to go too crazy with the details, but I do want to sketch in enough to where I understand the direction that things are flowing and all of the shadows and different elements of the face that make it look like me. One trick that can be helpful is flipping your canvas horizontally. This will sometimes help you see mistakes and asymmetries that you can fix. Once you're done tweaking it, you can always flip it back. Now one of the things you'll probably trip out on the most is the alignment of the eyes and other facial features. You can actually draw some guides that follow that same horizontal line you drew with your sphere, and your eyes should line up with that line as well as your brow line and the bottom of your lip and the bottom of your nose and so on. Unless your face is in a certain perspective to where you have different angles, this should do the trick to keep things aligned. So I just drew some guides on a separate layer and then duplicated those guides, and that helps me align my facial features. Now I do want to mention that faces are asymmetrical in real life, and so it is okay to have some asymmetry. Things don't have to be exactly perfect. And it's all right if your drawing looks like a drawing and not like a photograph. But within reason, you don't want your eye to be too off because then of course it's going to look kind of out of place. So you do want to try to use those guides as best you can, but use artistic license as well. You can see I drew another guide there and I'm just kind of using the guides and going back and forth between the guides and eyeballing it, no pun intended, to get the eyeball looking the way that I want. If it looks right to me, then I'm going to kind of take that into account and compare it to how the guides say it should look, and then find a balance. If your head is kind of at an angle, that might kind of throw things off too, so you may want to rotate your page so that your head is more level, and that might help you better see what you're doing. I'm gonna make my head a little bit bigger in relation to the canvas now so it fills more of the space. I'm gonna sketch in my body, which I'm gonna keep pretty simple because it's not gonna be the main focus of the piece. And then I'll use my eraser just to clean up my sketch and get rid of any of those lines that aren't really necessary. Next, I'm going to use the distortion tools, namely the Distorto brush, to go ahead and push around that pencil and sculpt my drawing into something that I like a little bit better. And I'll just continue cleaning up the sketch. If I need to erase and redraw it, then I'll do that. And once I'm happy with my drawing, I'll have a sketch that I can use to create a painting. 